Yeah, every time I, um, I talk to people about the jet boat these days, it's just like, what? You're putting a Tesla motor in the back of this thing? Yikes. And how many modules? 14? Yeah, so well, what kind of horsepower is that going to put out? Well, you have 14 modules. Uh, your maximum, if you've got the thing totally charged and you just put it on the lake, uh, you're, for 30 seconds that thing can draw 1,000 amps. So 14 modules are going to give you about 470 horsepower. <laughs> which is going to be plenty. That's yeah. nuts. That's, That's insane. Be, yeah. We're having fun converting to electric. And then the other second question is communication to Tesla. How can you communicate with this thing? Like, yeah, so that one inverter there and motor and such. Is, is not cheap, but there is a system out there called uh, EV controls, and uh, they produce a module which uses the original Tesla um, harness. So we can plug into the Model S motor. The rest of the harness will integrate with our EV2 controls, and uh, we can hook up the BMS to monitor the batteries and use the interface and the EV2 controls to communicate with it. Yeah, the TCC is actually actual will be Bluetooth. That's how you would communicate and change your settings and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just got the Tesla motor sitting here and I'm just going to kind of drop it in the hole and just kind of place it and take some measurements. Um, but there it is. <laughs> Doesn't get any more exciting than that. So I'm putting in a total of 14 Tesla battery modules in the jet boat. And I have one more BMS cell tap board to put in.
So this battery is a version one. So it takes a version one board or V1 board. And this is a V2 board. The only difference is it has three connectors instead of two. So this turned out really good. I, this was the gas cap and it was sitting right here in this hole. So I just unscrewed it, pulled it out. This is the new unit. It fit right in there perfectly. Just had to drill four new holes. It's just perfect. And the cable. Lots of life on the cable, it's gonna work out perfect. And when I go to charge it, just like that. So I have to run a cable. Um, so I guess the quick is just bring this thing down. Okay. Um, do you have a uh, like a shield or something? Yeah. yeah, I do. I got some poly. I don't know how well that'll hold up the sparks, but I don't know. It's doubled. Where the spark's gonna fly. Hopefully, you just get it. for 
gap wise. Which is fine. There'll be a, a cushion sitting right on top of this. Right? And then plexiglass starts here. Okay. So that it's or that's more critical happens. here. Right there, you won't see that. And that gets my hose back through there and that leaves me enough room for my hoses. So yeah. Electric zero emission vehicle, go green. <laughs>